My name is uh, Ernie Martin. I'm a liaison officer for uh, Moose Cree First Nation. They're a group from Moose Factory, but uh, I live in Cochrane right now, so it's, I'm working for I'm a Moose Cree member. It was years and years between the, the native groups and uh, the government about funding to get this all cleaned up, and finally it came through this spring. And uh, actually, the work really got going there in July. And whatever. now it's all it's not all the way clean up, but it's 90 percent clean up to right now. And I know another 10 percent would be long before it's all cleaned up too. So we're happy that it's finally come true. Like uh, first, we establish a grid out here. We started with a 9 meter by 9 meter grid system and we put flags in the middle of each of the grids to denote a location. Once the grid has been established a second team comes in behind and they take samples. Uh, we use an electric drill and we drill up samples, we load them up into a bowl the bowl is then taken to the table where someone mixes the samples, they put them in a baggie, they label them as to what the contaminant we're testing for, the grid number, the date, and the time, and then the bowls and all the equipment is washed, uh, three-stage wash, dirty wash, a soapy wash, and a clean to ensure that we don't have any cross-contamination and then they move off onto the next grid and they just continue sampling until the entire site has been sampled once and as Gaia is excavating out the previously tested material then what we will do is we'll come in from behind them and resample and give Gaia the results whether the soil is clean and they don't have to excavate or if they have to remove more dirt and then we resample the soil again until we meet the objective of 0.5 parts per million or less. Hello, my name is Philip Fellin. I'm working for a company called AirZone. I'm the manager of air monitoring and analysis. The group that I'm with is affiliated with SNC and they actually collect the soil samples. They have a, a number of ways of collecting the surface samples. What they do is if they encounter a concrete or rock, they actually bring us uh, chips of the concrete or rock on the surface to determine whether it's contaminated or not. If uh, they're sampling the soil, they will collect it using either a manual method or a drill-based method. And uh, they, they bring the samples here in composite form and then we extract them. What happens is the site was contaminated with PCBs and those came out of the radar equipment that uh, was on site in the 50s. Uh, some of that, uh, through some means, was dumped uh, and then uh, was transported around the site and uh, resulted in contamination of a fairly significant area. The other type of contamination is uh, what's referred to as PHC, poly, uh, sorry, uh, petroleum hydrocarbons. Uh, this resulted from uh, the fuel tanks that were on site to run the generators and, and everything else. Again, there were some areas where this was spilled. And the other contaminants that we're concerned with is uh, suspended particulate matter in the air. And that results mainly from the activity related to cleanup. Because we're basing the cleanup or using construction-like equipment for the cleanup, we need to uh, monitor the suspended particles in the air. Well, the lab is basically uh, supporting the, all the efforts in the field. Uh, we use it as a staging area for all the air quality work. We use it to repair our equipment that's in the field right now. And, of course, we use it for the soil analysis. Uh, <clears throat> we actually do the three different types of analyses that are, we are engaged in here in this laboratory. The um, PCBs are analyzed uh, using a gas chromatography with electron capture detection using a, um, a method that's based on EPA method and which is validated in our laboratory and which we have accreditation for in our main laboratory. The TSP, or total suspended particles, are analyzed on a, by a gravimetric uh, system using a very sensitive balance uh, by weight difference. 
and uh, PCH is analyzed by, or PHC, excuse me, is analyzed using FID, which is flame ionization detection. Uh, and we have three uh, gas chromatographs here, all fitted with auto samplers, that allow us to continuously output a high um, amount of uh, data and samples from the site. The sites uh, generate approximately 100 to 150 samples per day and we have to report these within a 32-hour period. So we have a crew here which uh, undertakes all the extraction process and the analysis and the cleanup and electronic processing of the data. And then I serve as the on-site QAQC person who uh, actually looks over the data, makes sure the calculations are correct, and makes sure that uh, the methods are running according to spec. Hi, my name is Walt Begonio. I'm a supervisor here at Foxville Site 060 and I've been here for since August. We worked here in phase one and everything's been going pretty good so far. My name is Carl Chena. I've been here since phase one. That was in August. And I'm a laborer. And go ahead. My name is Alex Archibald. I've been working out in Foxville site 060 for approximately four to five months. Started in June. I worked to phase one and I'm working to phase two. Phase one I was a truck driver and phase two I'm doing security and I'm from Takwa Tagamo First Nation. My name is John Mark. I'm from uh, Cochrane, Ontario. I'm with uh, Moose Cree First Nation and I'm also uh, doing security working with uh, Billy here, and uh, we've been together ever since the uh, the start of this uh, operation at Foxville. That's all I've got to say. My name is Jimmy Small. I'm from uh, Moose, Moose Factory, uh, Moose Cree member. Um, here in the site 060, radar site, uh, working with the remediation uh, part of the environmental cleanup. Basically, the question you asked me is how the uh, the drilled bit was uh, made and uh, thought of. It was uh, the the original tool that we used was fence post augers, and we're hitting too many roots, so we had to come up with a better idea. And uh, um, the first idea we had was an impact uh, drill, uh, impact uh, wrench, electric impact. And uh, we have that out there too. And um, uh, the uh, the drills that we're using now with the drill bits, they're working out very well. And uh, it was something we tried, and it worked out. So basically, it worked out good for all of us. So.